how do we identify our gift? Mm. Teach us. How do we identify our gift? There is no gift of worship. Mm. There's a gift of singing. Mm -hmm. mm. Worship every Christian should worship. Right. Yeah. There is no such thing as you are anointed to worship. Mm. Mm. Every true worshiper is anointed. Right. Mm. Identifying your gift will give room for the anointing to work. Mm. Mm. Okay. You will know the place of the anointing. Yeah. When you cannot identify your gift, you will not know the place of the anointing. Mm. You see, many people are deceived by false prophets, false pastors, false teachers. Is because you cannot identify the anointing. You don't know what the anointing is. Mm. Mm. Skill, gift, and anointing are different. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Somebody can be skilled in their gift in, and their people can just be skilled. Mm. That's why we have schools. You can decide to go and become a real estate agent. Right. Yeah. And you will sell houses. Mm -hmm. But there is a gifted salesman from birth mm. who can just look at you and say, this water <laughs> <laughs> that is almost full, right. not <laughs> almost <laughs> empty, if you drink it, your life will change. Man. And there is conviction with their gift that you want to buy that water for 10 million. Wow. Right. It's their gift. Mm. Now, somebody with a gift can teach you the skill, but he then necessarily can't give you the gift. Yeah. Mm. The number one step to identifying your gift, <laughs> the first step to identifying your gift The first step to identifying your gift. You always see through your gift, not your passion. Mm. Mm -hmm. Passion is driven with the heart. Right. Mm -hmm. Gift is just how you perceive the world. Right. Mm. Your gift is how you see the world. Mm. How you perceive the world highlights how you see. Mm. My gift, when I look at people, I just want to hear God for them. Mm. My gift controls me to desire to hear God for people. Mm. So when I'm looking at people, I'm already seeing where their issues are. Right. Mm. That is my gift. That's how I've always seen the world. Wow. If you are have a gift of singing, you will always see how music will be better. Mm. That's so true. Why? Because that's any sound that, if, even if this drops, it's inspiration. Yeah. Oh, that could be that's a good true. snare. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, can that's you drop true. that again? <laughs> hey. Ooh, did you hear that? In their head, they're hearing something completely different. Yeah. Yeah. You, you think that that was just a d bottle that fell. No, 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 no. no. Them, they're hearing how it will... Mm -mm. Mm. They even hear a whole chord and music <laughs> in their head. Yeah. They're like, mm, 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 wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> right. Right. A whole so song, they just put it on their yeah. phone. That's so That's true. true. <laughs> That's good. That's real. Your gift always highlights the problem. Mm. Mm. Break it down. Like there are people who have, uh, what is it called? Discernment. Mm -hmm. And every time they look at people, they see what people are doing wrong. So that you're doing that wrong. You should do this like that. You should do this like that. You should do this like okay. that. The issue is they don't identify the problem with themselves first. Mm. Mm. So they misuse that gift. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. They end up being judgmental. Somebody who is judgmental okay. is somebody who is passing judgment, but them themselves are not living by that standard. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. You see, somebody who is living by that standard, if they tell you you should do this because this is how you are supposed to do it, people will listen to you because that's how you live. Right. But you also have compassion because you know how it took you to get to the level or to rise yeah. to your gift. Right. 
and you have compassion for people who are failing. So your gift always highlights the problem. A singer will always hear the bad notes, the wrong timing. If you have the gift of organization or organizing things, you will always see how things are disorganized. Mm. Why is that there? Why did they leave this here? That's your gift talking. That's how you're seeing things. If you have the gift of managing you will see how the resources are mismanaged. You know if these people put this year and this year, in one year they could get anything they want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are they mismanaging things? It's your gift speaking. Mm. Why, why are people so unhealthy? Why are they putting all that bad stuff in their body? They don't even know that's why they have headaches and this and this and this. You know what, you should eat well, you should eat this, you should eat that. That is showing you that your gift is showing you what is happening. We all know unhealthy things, but don't we all once in a while indulge in burgers, pizzas, and everything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but a true health person will not do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Now, how do you know that your ability to see the, the problem is your gift? Mm -hmm. Because your gift carries the solution for the problems. Mm -hmm. So if you can see the problem, but you cannot do anything about it, it means it's not your gift. Mm. Uh. Wow. Wow. SD. SD. So real. Your ability to see the problem is the very fact that you can get somebody who you know that can help that situation or it will be with you that you can help it. Right. Mm. Because gifts are supposed to give solutions, not to create bigger problems. Right. Yeah. That's why some fake prophets, they will come in your church and say, this church, uh, you need to repent her. Uh, you need to do this. And they leave. They never, they left disorder instead of order. You know that one is not called by God. Right. Mm. Some prophets just want to uproot. You're not a prophet. Mm. Mm. You're supposed to build people unto edification. If you're only destroying, you're not a prophet. No. Mm -hmm. Because the prophetic is to, uh, unto edification, to the perfection of the body of Christ, yeah. not to the tearing down. Your gift will proceed you because people know coming in contact with you will accelerate what God has given them. Right. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Lot was accelerated because of what was in Abraham. It's so true. You see, you will never recognize the anointing unless you recognize the gift. Mm. Mm. If you're not gifted, you will not value the anointing. We know gifted people that don't have the anointing, they don't go anywhere. Wow. Yeah. And we know people who have the anointing but don't have the gift, they don't go anywhere. Mm. Yeah. May God give you the grace, people. May God give you the grace. May the Lord give you the ability to understand what it takes mm. to be influential for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. For the kingdom of God. I do when you are able to identify your gift, mm -hmm. You will respect the people that God has placed their hand on because you understand that it is learning from them that will push you higher. Amen. Yeah. That will push you forward. Think about how many people travel to Revelation Church every week. Mm. Every week. 20 people, at least, travel from other states on a flight to come and be here. Yes. Why? Because there is a gift-solving problems yeah. yeah. the gift is causing people to come to Jesus yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. what elevates your gift is honor mm. Mm. a person with no honor their gift will never be elevated mm. wow, that's deep. the lack of honor kills your gift wow. show honor Jesus said give honor where it is what due, due. Not to the real man of God, not to the fake man of God, not to wherever there is honor, give it because it's due to that person. Amen. It will accelerate, it will fuel, it will empower, yeah. and never impoverish your gift. Wow. Yeah. There are anointed people and gifted people who always say, Ah, my time hasn't come. One day my time will come. People will see me. Those are people that never honored anybody and they will keep waiting. If you wait 50 years, you'll find them still saying my time is coming. Mm. They have zero honor. It's deep. 
For you to be a great basketball player, you have to know who Jordan is. Mm -hmm. You have to know who LeBron is. Yeah. You have to know who uh, Kobe is. Mm -hmm. You have to know one of these great ones and model yourself after them, right. yeah. even though you have the gift. Honor. Right. Yeah. That's, That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make it plain. You have to be the greatest businessman. You have to study business and see who is the, ah, this man inspires me. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when you honor their gift, you fuel your own. Mm. Wow. Yeah. It is not just enough to identify it. It is not just enough to identify the gift. It is what ac accelerates the gift. Mm. Mm. When I speak to men of God that are ahead of me, greater than me, bigger than me, I always call them father, not because they are necessarily my spiritual father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be daddy, how are you daddy? How, how are you? I humble myself, why? That one percent I may be missing, mm -hmm. they can add it on me. Amen. I don't make myself equal to people who are ahead of me. Amen. Mm. Mm. Even brothers who are at the same level with me, I will always have a little sense of humility. Ah, my brother, you do this better than me. Ah, you are deep, you're so deep. Why? Because if they have one thing that I don't have, they can add it to me and it will take me farther. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The expression of your spiritual gift is your natural gift. Mm. Okay. The expression of your spiritual gift is your natural gift. Mm. When people see you prospering, then mm. they know there is something spiritual following you. Yes. Mm. Yeah. When Amen. they cannot identify how it's happening. Yeah. Amen. When I look at, I look at some of, of my sons and daughters who God has given the privilege to be close, mm. I just watch all of them how when we met and where they are right hmm. now, their life is so different. Amen. The other people are looking at them, not understanding what is going on. Some people think they have secret contracts that they're not telling people. It's just grace Amen. that oh. the gift is being fueled. And Amen. one thing that I'm always strong about is whatever God has given you, maximize it. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Don't be lazy about it. Don't play around with it. That's true. Be accountable to it. Yes. Why? Because that is your ticket to your next level. Mm. It's better to have a natural gift that benefits people than a spiritual gift that benefits no one. Amen. Mm. Amen. That's real. It's better to have a natural gift that benefits people than a spiritual gift that benefits no one. Mm. Amen. That is why Jesus said, it is better for you to see somebody that is cold and take out a coat and cover them and tell them, God bless you. Then somebody will come and say, God ha, ha, will bless you. Ha, and I see you entering in your mansion, but you leave them cold. Mm. You have no physical coat to give them to cover them. Wow. Yeah, right. Bless you. Let's pray together and, and trust God for uh, the next chapter. Amen. As Amen. God gives you the ability to identify what he has given you. Let's pray together and, and believe God for your next dimension. Amen. Father, I bless your people. I bless all of them no matter where they are. Yeah. Lord, I pray that you will unveil their mind and open their eyes to comprehend and identify what you gave them in order to take the world by storm for your glory. You. Father, through their giftings, both spiritual and natural, I pray that they will burn for Jesus that the world will see them and see Jesus and see nobody but King Jesus. Lord, I pray for greatness. I pray for elevation. I pray for open doors. I pray for, 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 for the ability through their gifts to bless those who are less privileged, mm -hmm. those who are poor, those who are mourning, those who are crying, those who are in need. Let their gift be the channel that will even bring people unto the knowledge and salvation through Christ Jesus. Father, bless them, increase them. I bless you for their lives. In the name of your only Son, whom man can be saved through, our Lord and Savior, God reincarnate, the one who was born by a virgin, 
who lived a holy life, died on, on, the third, on, the, on the third day, rose again, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, our precious Jesus. Amen. Amen. Listen, you are loved by God, and I will see you tomorrow. Shalom.